Hello and welcome back to another video, and as I'm sure you can probably tell from looking at the screen, this one is pretty damn cool. I've got to say, so this is the tier 17 warrior piece, and uh, well, first of all, this is metal as hell. Let's look at this piece, and um, it really, in my head, fits in very well with the overall Warlords of Draenor theme and the Iron Horde, and I've just got to say, I'm very impressed when you compare this to what uh, warriors currently have for their tier set. I mean, it's a bit of a dramatic uh, increase in quality, isn't it? One thing you'll notice um, there, actually, is this little um, rotary thingy. So, you could just sort of grab your enemy, you know, shove their skull into your, uh, into your shoulder and get work done that way. But let's have a look at the actual piece itself now. There are two recolors currently available, and I'll show you both of them. As for this one, though, starting off at the very bottom, I think that's a really solid boot, and I can see that going well with quite a few different transmog sets. Now, the waist... Look, Blizzard seemed like their WWE belts, and this is no exception. I do like the way there's a bit of a torn kind of banner thing going on there, so I think that's nice. Legs are pretty decent as well. The gloves, very nice, very chunky, and I just love the way that, um, the, just the shading in this armor, it all looks like iron plates. And I think that's really nice as well. So from the back, right now, I'm not too sure if it's finished, because it's looking a little bit bland, and some of these red accents, perhaps don't line up well, and I'm not really convinced the contrast works there. So that's all stuff that they can totally improve on. But from the front, that's a very imposing piece of armor. Very, it's very metal. Um, now, let's just have a look at the helm. I think uh, the helm itself, you know what, fair enough. What I've got a bit of a problem with is the horns, or the spikes, or whatever you'd call them. Um, I'm, I'm okay with the ones in the middle, but I just think they're a little bit too big, because when you zoom out on this character here, and uh, take a little bit of a look back. I just think that too much of the character is dominated by those. So maybe a little bit overboard in that regard. But overall, I think this is really, really damn nice. Alright, so next, let's have a little bit of a look at the other recolor that we have. Now, I'm just going to say right off the bat, this one is perhaps not... It doesn't maybe do as much for me as the other one. That's purely a personal aesthetic choice, though I really love the um, the red and iron kind of look. But as for this, you know what? It looks pretty good. Um, overall, it's just a solid enough piece. I think the coloring does work quite well with the helm. And uh, these, again, they look quite good in the, um, in the yellow color. Another interesting thing about this is just the way it's shaded. It's like there's a lot of... Would you call that wear and tear, kind of like the um, the dirt being sort of scraped off the side of the armor with the kind of shine that's going on there, or, you know what I mean? Um, I think that looks quite nice, and overall, just the, the armor, it looks like light is hitting it quite a bit. It gives this great shading and depth to the individual pieces, and if you look at that chest, um, just at the chest piece right now, and this is my one criticism, from the front... It looks okay, it doesn't really look that thick. Of course, from the side, we can see there that it's just a painted-on texture. Now, I wish that they were able to do kind of what they do with the shoulders, but for the for the chest plate, because I think that it really would look very good, very chunky, and just um, in terms of the profile here, you kind of you got your big WWE belt, you know, giant thing. Like, look how far out that goes. And then a little skin-tight uh, leotard, for a chest on your warrior. I'm still, I just don't like how they do that. Okay, it works fine for say my hunter who isn't supposed to be as bulky, but I think for a warrior character, having so many chunky bits of, you know, iron plating and then just putting in this flat little chest, um, sort of uh, armor here, I, I just don't particularly think that looks too good. Though on the whole, this is a fantastic piece. And honestly, if I have a look at this and then I have a look at tier, um, the tier 17 Paladin, you can check out a video for that on my channel. That's some of the best looking armor we've had in a very long time. I, I am seriously very happy with the direction that they seem to be going with. It feels a lot more Warcraft-ish, and honestly, I just think that they lost their way with a lot of Pandaria sets. Um, I guess that the overall theme of the expansion is far more Warcraft-ish, and if they're designing armors based on the theme of a certain tier, well, if that tier is going to have more of a Warcraft style and theme, then I suppose it's going to work a little bit better. Though Siege of War was kind of Warcrafty when you think about it, it's just they still kept too many of those like Sha Pandaria style um, stylistic choices for my liking. Anyway, awesome piece of gear in my opinion so far anyway. Um, do let me know what you think in the comments. Very excited to see what people's reaction to this is, especially the Warriors. 
gotta say, um, I might have to break my transmog for this one. Anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think. Um, stay tuned for all the latest Warlords of Draenor stuff on the channel, and I'll see you next time.